In this video, we're going to take a look at doing some searches inside of you lead pro. So what we're going to do is take a look at some of the type of searches that we can do. So with the new Facebook graph, we can do searches like men who live in New York, New York, and who like internet marketing or something like people named Tommy who like yoga and live in the United States. As we take a look at these searches, you'll notice the type of structure that we have. People who live in, say, a place and like a team and maybe checked in at maybe a certain stadium or arena. People who like, and then you put in their interest and live in, and then you can put in their place. People who like a certain page. So if there's a page that's in your category, you can look for that and maybe they're from a certain state. You can put their marital status, whether they're single, married, or engaged, people who live in a certain place. So if we want to find all of the engaged individuals that live in Tennessee, we could do that. We could do friends of people who like a page and live in a certain place, people who are in a group. That will also work with closed groups. So that is very nice functionality there. You could fill in a profession. So you could look for a doctor or a lawyer who lives in a certain place. You could say people who like, and then you could put in multiple interests, and then you could look for friends of people who like. And so that finds those people, and then it finds their friends as well. So let's take a look at some of these searches. We'll go ahead and switch over to ULead Pro. I'm already logged in here. And let's go ahead and do our search. So we're going to say uh, people who like, oh, let's say boating and live in California. So we're looking for people who like boating and they live in California. We'll go ahead and do that search and it's going to go through and it's going to conduct that search for us. And it'll go through and we'll get a lot of people that'll match that criteria. Now, what we can also do is we can, within our search, put in some limitations or some other parameters, criteria that we want to also meet. So maybe we're also only looking for people of a certain gender. So maybe we're looking for only male or female individuals. We could choose that and then that would adjust that number. We could look for a certain relationship, the employer. We already did the lives in because we put that inside of our search. So you'll see that it populates that over here. We could put in their school, their friends. So a lot of different things that we have the ability to populate in here. And as you scroll down through here, you're going to see those various options. So let's go ahead and let's switch this over and say that we're only want males that do this. Now it's going to switch over and we now have men who like boating and live in California. So you'll see that that search is going to change matching that criteria. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit more and I'm going to see more filters and it's going to give me some more and I'll see work and education so I can see maybe their employer. Maybe I want to see a certain location there. We can see their likes and interests. We could see information on their photos and videos. And then we get down here to the living. And within this area here, we're going to see that we could look for a certain birth year that they live, where they live. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other options here, relationships and family. So we'll see more information there as well. So a lot of different criteria that we have the ability to search from, not only from our initial search that we do, where we were finding the people who like boating and live in California, but then it'll also adjust, adjust that and add that other criteria to our search. So that's how you can do your searches and limit this down inside of you lead pro to get the results that you really need for your custom audience.